would would you run it on like a on a VPS with like a web server front end and yeah you know aren't there like concurrency issues with SQLite or anything like that that would, you wouldn't want to do it? It does run multi-threaded, uh, so I write Go. That's my language of choice, and um, you know I've I've written projects in SQLite, and I will say, I guess a few things on that topic. Like it does well multi-threaded. Like I can run thousands of requests at this you know this VPS at a time, and the fact that you can actually you can run a request, and I've done testing where I've had you know several queries run on an HTTP request. And the total time, and this includes rendering out HTML as well, total time to connect, do the queries, pull that back, you know, render out the front end was about 50 microseconds. The way that you develop, I find with embedded databases, tends to kind of, you almost kind of change your mindset a bit. Like, I have this theory that all databases are actually the same. The only real difference that you have among databases is that is latency. So like once you have a client server situation, uh, Mm -hmm. you can't, you know, you have issues of like N plus one queries. So really you want to optimize to get as much of your data back in a single query as possible. And you have to do joins, you have to do all kinds of, there's a lot of um, stuff around right. ORM tools where they kind of like try to batch together requests and it's always a pain in the ass. And, you know, that query language is what kind of really makes the difference. So, you know, if you have graph data, you want to have a graph language. If you have document data, you want to have a document language. SQL, you know, works on relational tables. But once you actually move all that, the the storage locally into the same process as your code, you really don't even need those separate languages. I mean, they can kind of help from a usability standpoint, from, but from a performance standpoint, you could just as easily look up your individual, um, you know, traverse your graph nodes locally using your own language versus the actual query language itself. Does that make sense? <laughs> 